LeBron James has been on Twitter a lot lately. Chris Fedor, our LeBron whisperer. Yeah. What do all these <laughs> tweets mean? Uh, are you serious? You want me to get in the head of that guy? <laughs> in know. 90 seconds. Wow, in 90 <laughs> seconds, too. Uh, here's my theory, okay? I have no evidence of this whatsoever. I haven't talked to LeBron about this. Um, but this, this is something that he's okay with. When he was in Miami, it was all about drama. They were under the microscope, and he was fine with it. When he was in high school, he was plastered on covers of magazines. <laughs> I just think LeBron likes drama. Yeah. And I think LeBron's okay with darkness or speculation or however you want to phrase it. He thinks his team, his group, thrives in adversity. So he's okay with an adverse situation. Michael? Revels in it, man. He, <laughs> this is all about what he is. He's going to kind of uh, thinly veil it as motivation for everybody, but uh, I think there's always a pointed message, and these pointed messages seem to me to be directed toward Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love most specifically, and, and then uh, hopefully filter down through his Cavalier teammates. But it's about making sure they understand what's at stake here, and I not expect he's going to continue to do it. The chronology, ESPN says Kyrie's unhappy. Kyrie calls it a misunderstanding. He mm -hmm. says there's misunderstandings. Then LeBron comes out and says, if you make a mistake, own it. I think it has to be about Kyrie, and I have no evidence to support that. <laughs> <laughs> Who have you subtweeted lately? Uh, Tell us.